Hi, it's Wednesday the 12th of January and we're taking a look at the energy markets. We're going to look at WTI crude oil, um, Brent crude oil and also take a look at natural gas. Uh, we'll run through the time frames, run through the longer term time frames down to the shorter term time frames to get full colour on the technical analysis. So this is the weekly chart and we've had this impulsive move higher in five waves, Elliott Wave Theory. Um, this is from the lows of uh, April 2020 after the pandemic hit um, and oil spilled over uh, to the downside. Uh, we've had this um, impulsive move higher and now we're in the middle of a correction. So it's uh, uh, the correction normally happens in three waves. We normally get one wave, two waves, three waves. Uh, and what we've highlighted is the Fibonacci levels on uh, the within this um, correction because we do expect it to stall before um, $85 level, which is the, the high for last year. Um, and But we've managed to, this week, prices have pushed through it quite aggressively. And if we look at the MACD, the moving average convergent divergence, that is crossing over on the upside as well. So that's another positive. So potentially we are... Uh, we have got a run at higher prices. The daily chart also I've highlighted this um, three wave correction. Let me remove that to um, maybe not uh, be so confusing. Uh, the next resistance levels we see um, are around about 83.50 before we see the $85 um, high. So uh, this yesterday's price action was very positive. We had a little bit of a turnaround. We thought that momentum was stalling on the daily um, over these two days, but yesterday um, we, it picked up again to the upside. So very positive there. On the four hour chart, uh, we can ha actually have a look at the Ichimoku cloud and see uh, that we saw this, uh, this weakening of the downtrend. Prices have pushed above the Ichimoku cloud. Um, dipped back below it, formed this triangle formation and prices have, which has a tendency to break to the downside, but prices have actually broke to the upside on here and taken out these highs and projected higher. So the trend on the short term chart is also up now. Taking a look at um, Brent crude oil, similar sort of price action. We had the uh, triangle formation here, which broke to the upside again after breaking through the Ichimoku cloud. And we, we also had this, uh, you can see the, the momentum of uh, the move higher. It still, still looks to be stalling actually on the four hour chart, but um, has poked its head above this uh, trend line. Uh, so that was actually showing signs with the price moving up and the momentum slowing down. That shows signs of bearish divergence. However, we have had this push higher. So uh, further upside. Uh, potential is there. Uh, 85,878 uh, is the, the next level. That's about two and a half dollars higher. And if we go back to the daily chart on WTI, we can see uh, prior to that, we should get some resistance at 84,80, which is about a dollar and a half higher than this. But very positive turnaround yesterday for oil. Natural gas is um, had this uh, downside uh, formation which has actually broken higher the four dollar it we were ranged between three dollars fifty and four dollars and uh, we have actually broken higher and moved back into positive territory Ichimoku cloud will will find resistance uh, it's although it's a declining resistance uh, today that comes in at four dollars sixty five uh, and as the days goes on, that resistance comes lower. But uh, really looking at this 475 as um, a potential retracement. We can add Fibonacci retracement levels to this. And the normal ones we see are 38.2 and 61.8. 38.2 comes in very close to that 4. 75 resistance actually comes in at 465. So for me, a close above here on the daily chart is very positive for the natural gas. Thanks very much.